it's Thursday the 23rd of August 2018 and I'm at Leegrave station to do a walk along the Lee Valley Walk. I now need to walk from the station to the start of the walk. Apparently this main road area is the start of the Lee Valley Walk. There's the River Lee on the left, we've entered Lee Grave Park. We're going to the source of the Lee and then we'll come back. Here's an information board about the source of the River Lee. Another information board about the source of the River Lee. And this is it. A source of the Lee. We now need to retrace steps back to that roundabout. Lee Valley Walk Waymark. Now go along this road. We're back at the roundabout in one of the earliest clips on this video. We bear right off the road along this path across Limbury Meads. The path is actually following the Infant River Lee and there it is and at the fork you can see ahead we bear right. I've now taken the right hand path at the fork and we come past this Sustrains milestone, cycling milestone and we now go over this bridge over the Lee. Now following the River Lee on the left, along this path. Lee Valley Walk now bears left over this bridge over the river. After the bridge, the path follows a much more overgrown area. We now bear right to recross the river on yet another bridge. We now come to Neville Road where Lee Valley Walk turns left. After a few yards along the road, Lee Valley Walk turns right down this path, following the River Lee again. We cross this road and carry on along the path ahead. Lee Valley Walk now heads along Riddy Lane. Lee Valley Walk turns right off Riddy Lane along this path with Catches Field over to the left. The path bears to the left and becomes enclosed. Lee Valley Walk turns right at this main road. Down there. We pass this half mile stone on the main road. We now bear half left along this path away from the main road. Later the path goes through woodland, following the River Lee on the left. Continuing through the woodland beside the River Lee along the Lee Valley Walk. Further on Lee Valley Walk Waymark. We now go through this kissing gate to go through the Baidawal Landscape Garden. 
I think we've now left the Biodawal landscape garden and are now heading along this path still beside the River Lee. After crossing a main road we take this path up there. Now through this kissing gate to enter Wardown Park. On the other side of the kissing gate there's this interesting Lee Valley Walk waymark. We're now walking along Mrs Scargill's path down there. This is just after the kissing gate. The Lee Valley Walk arrives at the lake in Wardown Park. Now passing the Wardown Suspension Bridge. And here is an information board about the bridge. Now at the lower lagoon part of the lake in Wardown Park and that's the path we're following. We're going to join a main road and head into Luton Town Centre next. Heading along the main road towards Luton Town Centre. We now head under the railway bridge into Luton Town Centre. The joys of Luton Town Centre. Now passing St Mary's Church, Luton and Lee Valley Walk goes down that path there at the side of the churchyard. Now in the middle of a huge roundabout just be passed under a subway and another subway coming up. After the subway there's the River Lee emerging beside a path and it's to the left of the path. That's where we're heading now down there. There's the river over to the right. We're now following this main road, Windmill Road. We pass the closed Windmill Inn. Continue uphill. Next we turn right into Osborne Road. down here. Next Lee Valley Walk turns left into Park Street. We now turn left off of Park Street along this path. The path continues with a road high on the right. The path crosses the River Lee and there's its continuation. At this point the Valley Walk goes through that subway, turns right. At this road junction Luton Airport Parkway Station is up there but Lee Valley Walk continues by turning right. Next we head under this flyover. I don't really think you could call this walk scenic. We now take this path which rises above the road, which the road's over to the right. Still on this surface path, which apparently was a former railway line, the road is still over to the right. Quite a pleasant wooded area. The road is still over to the right and over to the left is the Midland Main Line Railway. Information board about the Upper Lee Valley Way, which I think is just another name for the Lee Valley Walk in this area. And here are the 
statues or whatever you want to call them of Eric Morecambe who lived in Harpenden and really for the first time today over to the right there are some decent views Later the path runs gently downhill and it's right beside the Midland Mainline Railway. The road is a bit further away over to the right. The continuing Lee Valley walk. Here, Lee Valley walk turns left. The path is now heavily wooded. The path crosses the main road on a bridge and as you can see we're quite a distance from the railway now. Shortly after crossing the main road the path crosses the River Lee on a bridge and that's the way forward on Lee Valley Walk. Now at the road at New Mill End, we cross the road and take the path opposite. After the road in the last clip, the path is wooded again. The wooded path strides majestically on. Lee Valley Walk now goes beneath the Midland Mainline Railway. After the railway bridge, the path emerges into this good view. We cross this small road to the path ahead and continue. And you can see just crossing that road that it's part of the Chilton Way long distance footpath but we go down there following Lee Valley Walk great view over to the left and there's the continuing path just after the road great view over to the left and there's the continuing walk Lee Valley Walk Another great view over to the left and there's the continuing path. We're coming to the outskirts of Harpenden now. Eventually the path becomes more wooded. We cross this road and take the path opposite. Once again the path is pleasantly wooded point the walk turns left to go down to the main road. After turning right along the road we pass All Saints Church. As you can see it's a very modern building. Lee Valley Walk leaves the main road by turning left there's the footpath sign down here. The path enters the Batford Springs Nature Reserve. And we come to a junction and turn right along this path. Now at this bridge over part of the River Lee and this is where I leave the Lee Valley Walk. It's about three quarters of a mile to Harpenden Station from here. And I have now completed the whole Lee Valley Walk, even though I haven't exactly done it in order. But the whole long distance path is now completed. Now 
now at Harpenden Station and the end of today's walk along the Lee Valley Walk and the completion of the Lee Valley Walk.